Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we will cover how to create Chrome driver object. As we already covered, in case of the Chrome and Internet Explorer driver, we need to set plugin path. So this is the path from where we need to download the plugin. So first of all, I'll show you how we can set up plugin. So just copy this and moving to the browser. Here we can see we have a Chrome driver window 32. Just click on this zip file and it will start downloading a zip file. Once the file is downloaded, go to the location and unzip it. So here we can see that's my Chrome driver plugin. Now moving to Eclipse, this time I want to create Chrome driver object. So for creating the object of Chrome driver, first of all we need Selenium web driver libraries. So require Selenium hyphen web driver. So these libraries are required either we are working on a Firefox, Chrome or iDriver. So that's a mandatory part. Now to create Chrome driver, I'm just coming driver selenium module then web driver module calling a method for chrome as of now we did not set plugin path i try to execute this and we will see browser will not start it i'm just running it as a ruby script and here we see it is not able to start so we can see in the error like it is required executable path which we did not set and if you want to download that so you can go to this location so please download the server from this location so we can download plugin but for the session we have already download that plugin so in the error we are getting the message like you did not set the plugin path so to set the plugin path I'm coming before driver creation line and here selenium then web driver package then service package inside that we have a executable path so executable path is equal to path of that location where we have downloaded that exe file so i'm moving to that location copy address and in double quotes we are giving the path so path include the location and the name of the file one very important thing over here when we are giving the executable path we should always use forward slash so i'm using forward slash on the place of the backward slash one thing which is pending over here like the path we need to give so it's a selenium web driver and then it's a chrome package inside the chrome package we have this service package and then executable path so so exact location is selenium module then web driver module chrome module and then service module inside that we have this executable path i'm just running it and here we can see my chrome browser is started as of now i did not enter any url and other activities we are just starting the browser in the session we have seen how, how we can create the object of the chrome driver and ultimately we are going to start browser that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video